Grades are fantastically important. They are not the only important thing about being a student, but even if you learn all the information in the world and you don't get a good grade, then at some level, you're not a successful student yet. So it's important that you keep track of your grades and that you are up to date with how you're scoring. I try to stay really up to date with grades. Uh, I try not to get more than two or three days behind. Uh, and a large part of that is because you guys do a good job of keeping, uh, keeping me honest with that. You keep asking me questions and that keeps me constantly updating and constantly checking things. The grade should reflect how you are learning in class. So for that reason, I, I don't do makeup assignments and all this stuff. You're allowed to keep redoing and redoing things until you get them right. Uh, but I give you assignments because they're important. Uh, so I believe that you need to redo that assignment uh, until you've mastered the idea. And if you don't master the idea, then your grade's going to reflect that. If you do master the idea, then your grade will reflect that. So let's open up a new tab. And we're going to go to iCampus. This is your student grade portal. The website is iCampus.center.k12.mo.us. Just like Moodle, you don't need the www. And it will take you to this screen. Your username, same as it's been for your email and for Moodle and all that. And password, again, same as it's been throughout this entire process. So we will log in. And at this point, mine is going to look different than yours. So just one quick thing, and then this is a very short video, and we're complete. On the left side over here, you got all kinds of options. One of them is uh, to look at your grades. So right here at the very beginning, take a look at those grades, and you're at the beginning of the school year, so they should all be either uh, blank or maybe one or two grades already in there. Take a look at each of the classes. Make sure you know how to access each of the classes and then just spend some time playing around with this. Uh, this is all about you. This is all your information. So the more up to date you are, the more likely it is that you're going to be successful. Once you have done that, go back to your checklist and you can now check off that you have successfully logged into your student portal site and there's nothing else that you need to do for that part of it and you're done.